fight. <laughs> Isn't DC kind of retired? <laughs> no, DC wants to fight Brock. He's going to fight Brock, and then he's going to retire. He's going to just kind of get that. To me, day. to me, the most the most impressive fighter to ever step in the octagon is Daniel Cormier. He's certainly one of them. I just, I just in terms but how's of how's he more impressive when when John Jones beat him? Because uh, well, so John Jones is without a doubt the most talented and best fighter. To me, with the tools that DC is working with, when you're five nine, five ten, and you, you know, you just. Uh, you're dealing with guys who are so much taller, with so much mm -hmm. more reach. And all. He's undefeated as a heavyweight. The only man he's ever lost to was John Jones. And everybody else, all comers, Steve Amos, just give me a number. Yeah. And he ta he, he's taken every one of them out. Listen, I'm he's, a giant fan he's of He's just incredible. Don't get me wrong. It just shows you how good John Jones is or John Jones yes. has his number, whatever the case. But It's both. You know, I'd like to see DC fight John Jones at heavyweight. Me too. 240? <laughs> that might happen. That might be the big fight. The wow. big fight might be if DC fights Brock, let's assume he beats Brock, which I think he would, then DC fights John Jones. Yeah. But he might not beat Brock. Here's the thing about Brock, and this is so ridiculous to say, he's still a fucking giant Viking human. <laughs> yeah. He's so extraordinarily big. Yeah. He's so powerful that if he clips DC, anything can happen. Yeah, but he's got to—he's going to get punched in the face by DC. And I think—I personally mm. believe that if you are not getting punched in the face and working on patterns and really working on your striking, you get into the ring with a guy like Daniel Cormier who does that every day. True, but we don't know that that's in the jaw. We don't, we don't know that that's, that that's the case. We also know that he has been wrestling with this uh, Michigan State wrestler that's one of the best wrestlers on the planet mm -hmm. Earth. This video of him wrestling with this current phenom yeah. and he's training with like real elite world class sure. fighters but you're wrestling knows what in he's the doing octagon. with his striking yeah but daniel cormier's got that yeah down and he's also brock is also the wwe champ bro i don't know if you know uh, there is that he's throwing people around there is that got hit with a chair you're right i don't know man i'm I mean, putting all my money on dc i would say that dc would be heavily favored yeah i would also say that that big gorilla can fucking punch any person on the planet with those lunchbox fists, and you're it's fucked. True. He's it's so true. big, man. Yeah. When you stand next to Brock, you're just like, oh, you're a totally He's different a thing than me. He's a silverback. Yeah. He's as close to a silverback as I've ever seen him. He's a life. Viking, man. Yeah. You know, it's a long arms. Giant human. Yeah. F ridiculous fists. The the real question is, I mean, how much has he really been working on his striking in in these years that he's been outside of the cage? How much is he much been... easier to work on your wrestling if you're him than it is oh, striking? Yeah. Striking is a whole different animal. Well, particularly sparring, <clears throat> not yeah. just like hitting mitts and hitting the pad, but getting getting good rounds in against people that can crack and people that can crack like DC, where he clinches you and then hits you in the clinch. And like, also learning how to adjust. Mm -hmm. Like the great fighters that I notice are guys who they come in with a game plan. That game plan gets shut down and then they change it up. Right. Then they do subtle things. They just yeah. start doing little differences. Yeah. And you go, oh, you're, you're, doing a, you're doing a whole different thing here. Yeah. And that guy can't see it. Or a lot of people can't see it. And that's what I think is amazing. Then there's the other thing. He's got to get off the sauce. So yeah, he got, he got off the sauce. <laughs> so if he gets off the sauce, now he's 40. And he's been on Mexican supplements for the last few years, for sure. Yeah. And your whole endocrine system is just like, Wee! Oh, yeah. what's going on? Hey, Good where's luck. my roids? Good luck. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. who knows? Who knows?